Hey everybody, Sue here and welcome back to Play It Again. I'm so glad you joined me today. We have a fun one today from 1988. We are going to revisit the song Perfect by Fairground Attraction. And I loved this song back in the day. I haven't heard it for a really long time, so it should be a fun one to hear again. It was just so upbeat and so fun. I absolutely loved this song. And I'm gonna see if it still stands up today because it has been decades since I've actually heard this song. Before we get going though, if you can like the video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so, it really does help me to grow. And if you are so inclined, you can click on the little join button and you can decide if you'd like to become a member of the Play It Again Sue community. All right, here we go. Perfect and fair ground attraction. This is gonna be awesome. Love the drums. I need someone who really cares. Life is too short to play silly games. I promised myself I won't do that again. Absolutely love that instrumental part of the song. It is so cool. It has such a kind of a country, kind of folky, but yet indie kind of sound. It, it has almost like that, um, it's a little bit jazzy sounding. It, it almost has a, um, a skiffle kind of sound to it in a way. It's a kind of a that throwback to that American kind of style where it really kind of fuses together that jazzy, bluesy, country kind of sound. It's so, so cool. I absolutely love it. And I wish they would actually play more of that. The instrumental part could have gone on for longer for me. I love it. But the lead singer's voice, I believe her name is Eddie Reader. I believe that's uh, her name. And uh, she's got a really, really nice voice. It's very appealing. It's very soothing. This song is so upbeat and it actually suits her voice absolutely perfectly. This is uh, perfectly. There we go. It's perfect. Uh, but I absolutely love this song. And the video is kind of fun to watch too. You know, I haven't seen this video again probably since the late 80s, early 90s. And uh, it's just, yeah, it's just enjoying life. And it's got such a great great message you know wait for the perfect person you know or if it's not working move on to the next one and find your perfect person i absolutely love it okay i'm going to rewind this a little bit and we're going to get right back into it I'm actually yeah, i want to hear more of that instrumental part so here we go yes Such mistakes 
They are much too eager to give their love away. Well, I have been foolish <laughs> too many times. Now I'm determined. I'm gonna get it right. It's got to be perfect. It's got to be worth it. Yeah. Too many people take second best, but I won't take anything less. It's got to be. Amazing. Love her little yodels there at the end when she had, you know, did that run of it, especially at the end, the, that run of a yodel. That's absolutely fantastic. She's got a great voice to be able to do that. That cannot be easy to do. Very, very cool. And I love the whole idea of having them on like some kind of, you know, sort of uh, river kind of boat and having them with all of their umbrellas and raining. Now, was it really raining or were they were just throwing water on them? I couldn't actually tell, but I thought it would, might have actually been that they were throwing water on them coming down to make it look like rain. But if anybody knows anything about this video, please uh, put it down in the comments and let me know. And to be honest, I, this is the only song that I know by Fairground Attraction. And if anybody has any information on this band, I would love to know more. Um, you know, just they didn't really have a lot, not at least here, not in Canada, maybe in North America. They just didn't seem to have a lot of other songs that sort of kind of hit the, the airwaves, I think. So anyway, this is fantastic. It didn't actually do all that well on the charts in North America. In fact, I don't think it even made the charts in, in Canada, and I don't think it even made the top 50 in the United States, but it was number one in the UK and Ireland and Australia, and it was in the top... Um, Top five in a lot of other European countries like the Netherlands, Belgium, Sweden, Switzerland, etc. So it really did have a very European kind of attraction for this particular song. Again, I'm now using words again, attraction. Now, I'm not doing this on purpose. And uh, anyway, so, but it's interesting how it just didn't seem to cross over into North America much. And I'm not sure how I actually came about knowing this song, but I heard it somewhere and absolutely loved it. And, uh, and I, I, you know, listen to it often. Anyway, uh, my fun fact for the day is that uh, Eddie Reader actually has been quoted as saying that a lot of their songs, and this is very interesting to me based on what I've heard with this song and her voice, a lot of their songs were very angsty and kind of talking about things that had gone wrong and breakups, etc. So they, she said that they would often play this after the first set to kind of give people a bit of a break from that kind of darkness and get them up dancing a little bit. So uh, clearly they were, this was like kind of a one-off for them. They must have done some completely different kinds of music. So if anybody has any information about that, it did kind of have the same sound or was it just completely different. I would love to know because when I read that in my, for my fun fact, I thought that is very, very bizarre. So it seems like it was a one-off, but who knows? Anyway, uh, if you'd like me to do more of Fairground Attraction, put it down in the comments. Like I said, I don't know any other of their songs, so I'd be more than happy to learn more about them. Okay, everybody, I think that wraps it up. So everyone have a joyful day, and I will see you all again next time. Bye-bye.